Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best loaf pans in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Fat Daddios Anodized Aluminum Bread Pan The Fat Daddios Anodized Aluminum Loaf Pans are not the most confidence-inspiring baking products out there. Their rounded corners make them easy to clean, which is one of their redeeming qualities. The plus side to these pans is that they are extremely inexpensive and come in a pack of two. This quickly becomes a quantity over quality situation, as they are not well made and do not make for an even bake. The walls are thin and the pans feel like they are malleable, not ideal for long-term durability. Right out of the box, we had issues with the Fat Daddios pans. They were so tightly packed together that we had to put them in the freezer to separate the two loaf pans before even considering baking with them. This is where their malleability was first brought to our attention, as they seemed to be welded together right out of the box. After our first bake in them, we found that we had a hard time getting loaves out unless the pans were well greased. Number 9. Chicago Metallic Commercial 2 Made from Heavy Duty Aluminized Steel, the Chicago Metallic Commercial 1 Pound Baking Pan feels like the workhorse of baking pans. Its thick walls are reminiscent of our favorite pans and make for an even and satisfying bake. We like the overall shape of this pan too, its steep walls and fairly deep bottom make for tall, impressive loaves and seem to encourage a nice rise. Additionally, the Chicago Metallic comes at a very reasonable price and its design feels long-lasting and durable. Because of its folded, package-style design, the Chicago Metallic can be hard to clean. There are nooks and crannies in the corners that collect bits of flour and grease over time and are hard to access when cleaning by hand. We also found that without proper greasing and flouring, our loaves tended to stick to the bottom. Number 8. OXO Good Grips Glass From our testing experience, glass pans seem to produce consistently even bakes. The OXO Good Grips Glass is no exception. This pan baked massive, evenly cooked loaves time and time again, proving that glass is king. We were impressed by its ability to cook evenly, even though it's such a large capacity dish. Besides its ability to cook evenly, the OXO Good Grips pan has two notable features, large carrying handles and a BPA-free plastic lid. The lid is a nice addition and sets this pan apart from the rest. That said, we found that it in fact wasn't the most useful, since typically loaves are removed from the pan in which they were baked immediately upon cooling. We found that we usually stored our loaves in a different place than the pan they were baked in, making the lid feel obsolete at times. Though we had some hang-ups with the lid feature on the OXO Good Grips glass, we found that this is the most suitable pan for savory dishes, like meatloaf or an egg frittata. Its large size is more suitable for a main course, plus the storage lid comes in handy for bakes that are not meant to be turned out of the baking pan. Number 7. Trudeau Structure Silicone The Trudeau Structured Silicone Pan is great for substantial bakes, where a large baking pan is key. This loaf pan turns out hefty quick bread with its deep, tall walls. Compared to the other silicone pan we tested, the Trudeau is designed for large, airy bread and sandwich loaves as opposed to rectangular, dense bread. We liked the handles and metal frame that holds the shape of this pan. We also found it easy to clean and appreciated that it requires no grease for a smooth loaf turnout. The shortcomings we had mostly had to do with the shape of the loaves that we baked. When we baked from smaller recipes and pre-made mixes, we found that this pan was too large to accommodate the loaves. This made for flat, unimpressive loaves that barely filled out the pan. For this reason, we found that the Trudeau lacked the versatility that many of the other pans had. Number 6. OXO Good Grips Nonstick Pro Loaf The OXO Good Grips Nonstick is a simple, lightweight option that releases loaves with ease due to its coating and textured bottom. The textured bottom is a personal choice, if you're planning on flipping the loaf, then the texture will be on top, but for most quick breads, the texture is hidden on the bottom. It certainly helps get the bread out easily and didn't cause any problems when cleaning the pan by hand. We appreciated the fact that this pan is lightweight and reasonably priced. 
It's a good no-nonsense option for folks who don't want to overthink their loaf pan purchase. We were a bit disappointed this pan didn't have handles or a lip to assist in handling. It makes it more challenging to turn out loaves and to maneuver the pan in and out of the oven when there is nothing to grab onto. Additionally, the walls of this pan are a bit thin, making for less even heat distribution than some of the thicker walled options we tested. We found that we had to monitor our bakes a bit more to make sure that they didn't get overcooked on the outside. Number 5. Camp Chef Cast Iron Bread Pan For optimal performance with the Camp Chef Cast Iron Pan, we preheated the pan before greasing it. Then, when our test banana bread dough was placed in the dish, it baked to create a caramelized, evenly browned crust that was particularly enjoyable. This pan is for die-hard cast iron users, it is capable of baking your bread to perfection, with patience and a little bit of grease. It scored high points for heat distribution and produced the most beautiful loaves out of any other pan in our review. For the best experience with releasing loaves with ease, we recommend greasing the cast iron. As is the case with most cast iron products, the main downside to the Camp Chef pan is its weight. This pan weighs a lot and can be difficult to maneuver around within the kitchen. Most testers had a hard time pulling this one out of the oven with one hand. Number 4. Hafundi Silicone. Sometimes, the recipe calls for a long, thin-style loaf. Say you're making rye bread, or a seeded loaf meant for thin slices and picnics, that's where the Hafundi Silicone comes in. This long silicone pan has a textured bottom for easy loaf removal plus handles and a metal frame for easy carrying and handling. The silicone pan also means that this one requires zero greasing, and releases loaves with wonderful ease. We also like that silicone baking pans cool quickly, so you can get into that fresh loaf as quickly as possible. Though we like the shape of this pan for specific, dense style bread, it is not ideal for creating a lofty, substantial bake. The Hafundi silicone seems to cater to a denser loaf as opposed to a fluffy sandwich-style bread. For us, this meant the Hafundi lacks the overall versatility of some pans we tested. We also felt that this pan was a little expensive for what it is, though the product seems to be durable and long-lasting. Number 3. Pyrex Basics 1.5-Quart Loaf Dish We liked this steep-walled, handled glass pan from Tried and True Pyrex, as it produced some of the most evenly baked loaves of any pen we tested. This is partially due to the fact that its glass construction allows for a clear view of the baking process. With this helpful viewing ability, we were able to fine-tune our oven temperatures for an even bake. In terms of features, the Pyrex Basics 1.5-quart pan has large handles which we loved. These made it easy to transport the Pyrex from the oven to the counter and turn out loaves easily. The iconic glass construction of Pyrex products certainly has a cult following, and we are not immune. For the most part, we love baking with Pyrex, though this pan had a few issues that relate back to the materials used in its construction. The glass should be greased and floured for most loaves, if not, expect a mess when you go to turn out your next loaf. Because of this, the Pyrex can also be hard to clean, since crust tends to stick to the bottom of the pan more easily on this one. Number 2. Wilton Recipe Right Medium Bread Pan The Wilton Recipe Right came in as a close second to our top pick. It's simple, easy to use, and bakes delicious bread every time, essentials for a top-notch baking pan. We were impressed by how easily our loaves came out of this pan, the non-stick coating does its job quite well. Feature-wise, we loved the small lip on the rim of the pan, which worked well as a handle for turning out loaves. The Wilton pan has shallower walls than most, which creates a slightly different shaped loaf, with more volume on the sides and less of a puffy, impressive top. The best part about this simple non-stick is its reasonable price tag, which makes this a great go-to for filling out your kitchen quiver. Compared to the more solid, completely stainless steel pans we tested, the Wilton recipe right is a little bit on the flimsy side. We also noticed that the non-stick coating scratched easily. The thin walls make for a slightly hotter bake, so you have to watch the oven temperature with this pan or else risk an overly browned shell to your loaves. Number 1. USA Pan Aluminized Steel The USA Aluminized Steel is a sturdy, well-made, no-nonsense loaf pan that turns out solid, evenly baked loaves time and time again, making it our top choice product. 
It delivered beautifully consistent loaves that were well baked each and every time. We like how the USA pan has heft and solid construction but is still small enough to produce tall, impressive loaves. It also baked our loaves slowly and evenly, creating a nice golden brown shell, without overcooking. The corrugated steel bottom and sides make for easy loaf release without too much need for greasing, a much welcomed feature. This pan is also easy to clean and affordable. Some of its features weren't quite up to snuff, but overall were not deal breakers. Unlike many of the pans in this review, the USA aluminized steel doesn't have handles, which means turning out loaves and removing the pan from the oven is a bit more difficult. We could get around this, but some bakers are dead set on having handles, this comes down to personal preference.